Today we're gonna to be building custom brackets that are gonna hold an interior panel in, in the back of the 1969 Mustang. And if everything goes as planned and everything works, I'll make sure that I have some extra available in case anyone else is doing the same project and wants some. So for the past few weeks, I've been working the interior of this car and trying to finish up pretty much everything back there from the seat belts to the correct rear seats in it and putting the panels back in correctly. Now, one of the things that I've found and I've highlighted in one of my last videos is, you know, that rear panel that goes right below the rear glass is really hard to get installed and keep installed. So I'm gonna try something different to get it installed. So looking at the design of the way that this rear panel works, plus the way that it's connecting back there, it's not ideal. If you look at the plastic, the way that it's molded, there is no actual real good way for it to hold those clips into place. It's really just tension. So what I think I'm gonna do is, with my engineering background, I got a license of SolidWorks. So I'm gonna go ahead and we can build some brackets. I'm gonna have them water jet cut for us. And then we're gonna install them on the car, see if everything fits. If it all goes well and you guys like what you see, I'll order some extra parts. I'll let you know at the end of the video how many I've ordered and how you can reach me if you want some. And if you really don't wanna purchase them for me, I'll put the dimensions of what I'm making up on the screen. So freeze it, take a snapshot, build the parts yourself. Or if you want, I can put a drawing somewhere on our website where you can go and access it. No guarantees this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Let's go ahead, let's look at the problem we're trying to solve and then let's start cutting some parts and getting them ready. So in the back of the 1960 Mustang, you're probably familiar with this, but there are these brackets back here that hold in that rear panel. And you can see that clip that fell out when I was removing it. Not really ideal for having everything installed that way. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace those. Now, the way it works is those clips are bolted to the rear of the car at a certain angle. And from that, these push pins push into them. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So we're gonna have to get something, make something that goes onto those. Now, those panels should be flat and they pretty much should just push in. Now, here's the clip that goes into that panel. And you can see, it's just a clip. It has this little green piece in it. I don't even know if they reproduce these, so it's really hard to get. So this clip essentially goes in, it, this piece connects into the plastic on the rear panel, and then this Christmas tree essentially gets pushed in. Now that clip there is gonna push in this panel right here. Each one of those little brackets has six different places where it does connect to here. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at how this all lines up. So you can see each one of these features here. They essentially have two walls and then a little protrusion right in the center that hold, it's supposed to hold this into place. So essentially this goes in, if you push it in pretty hard, and each one of those little lips will hold it into place. So you do have some X, Y movement here of this to get it to go back and forth to locate where that is correctly, but it's hard to get everything perfect. So, you know, the, the problem that I've had is these do pull out and when they do pull out, they fall and they're hard to get to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take some measurements of this. We're gonna build this up in SolidWorks. From that, we're gonna be able to take that and then build a small flat plate. Now, I'm looking at what the best way to adhere this plate is. You know, I think looking at this, probably end up roughing up the surface then using some foam tape on it just to get some heat adhesion to it. From there, I think, and I'm gonna test this out, the best way to get this to stick in the car on those brackets is actually to use something like this. So this here is Velcro. So you get the side with the hooks, you get the side with the loops, and you can, no matter how you put it in, it's going to end up in the right place because it's just gonna be Velcroed. It's not looking for a pin to center. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this and we're gonna end up creating a, essentially this to be a part and then I'm gonna create an assembly from it, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull everything together. So if I look at all the tolerances on this, you know, there is a lot of compliance here on how it holds against the back panel. I'm hoping this thickness is probably similar. We'll try it, we'll find out, we'll see where we are. So here's where I'm ending up. Here's the dimensions for this. So here's the overall size, kind of looking from the top down. Here's from the side to give me the different heights. The height of this pin won't matter for what I'm doing here but I'll just call it for half the height of this for right now. Now, if I look at how this little green clip ends in this pad, it essentially ends up flush here. So as long as the Velcro ends up semi-flush here, I think I'm okay. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try it. 
All right, so if I look at, I'm gonna have the plastic on the bottom, I'm gonna have the foam tape. So this plastic is part of the bigger piece, which is already installed. I'm gonna have some foam tape or adhesive, the aluminum part that I'm gonna have cut out. Then I'm going to have the Velcro bottom layer and then the hooks and on top of it. Now I think when I'm, the target is around 1.8 for the overall height from the this to this bottom to where the hooks and loops are. There is gonna be some thickness of the Velcro, which is 0.1, which I need to take into account for. I'm gonna see if I can make, how I can make it work in the drawing, but if I can't, I'm gonna go with it being a little extra thick, which could space it off about a hundredth of an inch, but I don't know if that's gonna make that big of a deal, just looking at how these were installed before. But we'll take a look at it together. Now, this is SolidWorks. It's a CAD tool that I used to create this design. So that green piece is the black plastic trim piece that's on the car. The white piece is the foam. The translucent piece is the aluminum piece that's gonna get cut. And then the black piece is the Velcro that's gonna be on the outside, which is gonna be touching the back of the chassis of the car. Now with this design that I made, I should be able to just take it, ship it out to send, cut, send. They'll cut the parts and then they'll make, then they'll ship them here. The parts are finally here. You can see I have a giant pile of them because I've made enough to make a bunch of cars if anyone wants them, if everything turns out well. But let's go ahead and get them installed on my car first to see how they're gonna do. So first we're gonna go ahead and install them on the back of this trim piece. All right, the piece is right here and you can see what we did is we actually put the double-sided foam on the back and then we're gonna take the cover off and then we're just gonna place it into position. So if I just do that, go ahead and drop it in. And I'm gonna do it sideways. There, you can see it's pretty well stuck into place. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this and we're gonna put the Velcro on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel the Velcro off and then uh, repeat this like six times. Okay, now that's in place. I mean, the main goal of this is to be tight enough so that it doesn't come off. You can see it's pretty well on there. So a quick comparison of this one versus this one. Now on this one, you're gonna have a little bit of room to remove X and Y, which is, you need. This one, you're also gonna have some room to move because you're gonna have this Velcro on the other side that's gonna let you put it on either position, on any position, because that's just the way Velcro works. So this is gonna come off and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the rest of the six on here. Then we'll go put the other side on the car and then we'll try it out. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take this one off that came off nice and easy. And I'm gonna put the rest of them on here and then we're gonna go ahead and put the pieces in the car. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see how it fits. And we're gonna see, does everything line up? Then does everything look good? So here we go. All right, now I'm gonna to need to pull that green one out and then I need to make six different pieces of Velcro that are gonna go on top of that. I'm gonna make it cover that entire pad so there's a good chance that it sits in place. So I got all this covered in Velcro. It's probably about a one inch by one inch square that covers it neatly. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try putting the panel in. Now these did turn out pretty good. And you know, the only thing I don't have bolted down is this right here, cause I need to drill a hole. But if you look at it, I mean, everything's pretty well secured. This is reproduction, so it's a little bit flimsy, but you know, in the places where it's supposed to be stuck, it is stuck. Now you can feel the Velcro if you wanted to take it off and reposition it. I've actually done that one or two times already. So it's easy enough that you can pull the Velcro out and then you can just put it back in. So like down here, I'm able to pull the Velcro out of here and here, shift this down to get it into the right position. But, you know, this setup I think is actually pretty good. It's not rattling because you do have that Velcro back there just like the other material. So I'm happy with the way that this turned out. Everything's held in place. I'd like to know what you guys think on it. Now, if anyone else is interested in these parts, feel free to send me an email. You know, on the YouTube page, if you go to my channel, kind of the main page, and then you click that little arrow, it'll show you at the bottom. 
here's how to get in contact with me. If you do it that way, my email will pop up. Go ahead and send me an email. I'm not trying to make much money off of these. So what you'd get is you'd get the aluminum piece, the foam stuck to it, and the Velcro stuck to it all together. So you can just take them, you can drop them in your car. And I'll do, if you're watching this channel and you're watching this video, just do 20 bucks plus whatever it costs to get shipped to you. Now I'm excited because this is the first time that I've had this panel installed in the car, not rattling around, and it feels like it's correctly secured. I hope these videos are helpful to other people that are working on their 69 Mustangs. Thanks for tuning in today on Smacky's Garage. I'll see you next week.